Stellar fans, we have a story for you. We are going to be talking about pricing and NFTs. And I know before you roll your eyes at me regarding NFTs, I'm going to show you how big of a role NFTs actually play in the actual price of XLM. So let's get to it and let's explore the world of Stellar. All right, so here we go, screen and screen the way I like it. So first of all, when you start with NFTs, all right, you need to start talking about OpenSea. Now, OpenSea is on the ETH chain out there. And let's just take a look at some of their prices that they got. 12.5 ETH, 12.75, holy crap, 13. So there is some big money out there in these collections going over $40,000, $50,000 from. Now, Stellar has their own version, and that is called Lightmint. Yep, and they do. They have some really neat art on Lightmint, but the minting fees are super inexpensive and is super fast, and this is all about the native token. These are artists here that creating on the Stellar platform, minting using XLM, and taking payments via XLM. So I got a whole bunch of auctions right now up on the screen for you to take a look at. And look at this. This one right now, the best bid is 11,111 XLM, all right? This is definitely something big that needs to be explored further on the Stellar chain, all right? And I'm going to bring up a quote from Stellar themselves here, and that is this. Because while the mission-driven Stellar Development Foundation is focused on use cases like cross-border payments, we know that, remittances, and to be clear, SDF is not planning to pivot to focus on NFTs. This is the big part. One of the most exciting things about the open participation nature of Stellar is that a vibrant ecosystem of projects is out there exploring topics and building solutions. That's the NFT marketplace, yes. Digital artists out there that are able to put their art for sale across borders. All right, and if you're still with me here, right, this is part two of that five-part series of Stellar. Yep, where I took this article right here and I chopped it up and made it apply to Stellar. So if you're with me here, you're like, well, wait a minute, I still don't understand how are NFTs such a big deal? Because you have to think of the video game marketplace and the digital art marketplace out there that is un tap. So let's go to that article and let's get really high level here. The $85 billion video game industry may be one of the most fertile areas of potential for NFTs. Some of the larger studios are already experimenting with them. And with all the talk surrounding the metaverse and immersive 3D digital environment, blah, 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 all right, this is going to be good because gamers have a huge portion of an untapped market and nfts on stellar could be another way that the ecosystem grows yes imagine playing your favorite games out there purchasing customized skins you name it using lightment or the stellar blockchain in order to get those nfts for your character and to be able to trade those nfts so although NFTs right now are really, really small part of the Stellar chain, the video game industry out there provides a huge, ample, fertile ground for NFTs to take place and to increase market cap and market size of Stellar. But I know what you're waiting for. You are waiting for the pricing. So let's get to that pricing outlook. All right, here we go, pricing. So I got Stellar one year chart up right now. And what I have highlighted on here is the blue hash line is the 30 cent mark. And that for me is my buy target. I buy sub 30 and that's it. So I have the red boxes here that show the duration of the time that it's been under 30, as well as the depth that's been below 30. So let's get to recent pricing. Cause right now we also have two resistance marks here. We've got one at 40 and one at about 43, but the real resistance 42, 43 cents. But let's Let's get to near term points here because that is what you're most interested in. Near term resistance, we can see we have had three different attempts to hit and break 30, which have failed within the last month or so. Our strongest support point right now is right along this right here, the 25 to 25 cent mark. All right. So we're looking at 25 cent for near term floor support with 30 cent for near term resistance with bigger resistance levels in the future of anywhere from 40 to 42 and a half, 43 cents. We clear that 40 to 42 and a half, 43 cent barrier. Our next one then gets further up into the 70 cent mark, which 
If we hit that, we are doing really good things. So definite buy opportunities out here and definite opportunities for swing trades and swing plays. So there you have it. The un tapped gaming marketplace is prime for someone like Stellar that has low fees and instant transactions. It is also important to see that even Lightman, Stellar's own NFT marketplace, which I have an auction on, by the way, yes, I have an auction, my own auction, because I am now a verified seller on Lightman. I will have that posted in the description below. But it is big because all of this is being done using native token XLM. People using Lumens like they would their own fiat, and that's being done on the Lightmint marketplace. And if you are looking for a bigger picture, broader perspective view of the crypto marketplace, I have a channel for you to check out. It is Molt money. Yep. We are looking to do some collabs in the near future. So I wanted to start exposing some of my viewers to Molt's channel out there. Really, really good content, good big picture analysis. And he also dives into Stellar too, which I know a bunch of you will like. So Klaus, family hobbies and cards. Yeah. NFTs, gaming, pricing action. What another great video. All right. Take care, everyone.